Hello? Wait. Oh. Oh. I. Uh, okay. Hey. Hi. You didn't think we were going to let 8K go unannounced, did you? What? But here, celebrate. Thank you for 8,000 subscribers. Thank As we say every time we do this or anything like this, we didn't think we'd get more than eight subscribers, including ourselves. So, yeah, pretty this much. Is, this is always a great thing. So, I to do, we like to do fun things for you, fun yes. little things, little specials on our. Yeah. on our milestones and today we have something very special so yeah. oh you guys have wanted us to do some ranking things for a while and no yes. this isn't marvel no but we thought it would be fun yes you guys know if you've watched our channel you know that we watch things outside, outside of, of youtube yeah. sometimes there are even things that we started on a first day Thursday that we just decided that we wanted to continue watching ourselves mm -hmm. and other things are just things that we watched this channel was started because we were watching so many things and yes. we because COVID happened yeah and we were stuck in the house watching things and we were like we think we're funny yeah other people should also see us watch things so we're gonna go back a little bit it is 2019 I am taking these glasses off it's 2019 and I just moved in with Anya and um, we barely see each other because we both have school and I'm also working and you know life. One of the breaks, I don't know if it was spring or winter, but randomly I put on Sabrina the Teenage Witch in my room and Anya came in and we started watching it together. Oh yeah, no, it was winter break winter because break. then we were watching it and I was still going to school mm. and then um, we went on spring break and never came back. Yeah. Fun thing about spring break was that because I lived in Philly my whole life, Pennsylvania, and she lived in Jersey her whole life, our spring breaks never coincided. It was always mine first and then hers. And so we never got to enjoy the time together. So when COVID first happened and they were like, yeah, you get an extra two weeks. We we're like, we have a week where we could just like hang out together. That's so fun. So we put our money together and bought a TV and came down here and started watching stuff. And that has not changed since then. We come down here and we watch things. We watch things for you guys and we watch things for ourselves. If you guys would like to see the first thing that we watch, please go look at our Supernatural. That was the literal first thing. That was the literal thing. first thing you could tell because it was recorded on my laptop. Yeah. We and didn't have a camera. And it. it was just for us. It was like, just fun. It was just fun. But then, you know, we kept doing it. And, and then we watched for WandaVision, WandaVision, we made it really happen. Although I, I think Twilight might've been first. Twilight was first. Yeah. But we started watching things for YouTube. Yeah. And so here we are. Here AK. we are. So today we want to rank all of the shows that we can think of that we watched. We've watched a in lot in that so. time period. And it's very. This is a. These are couch shows. These are yes. a very specific type of shows. Yes. So these are our like binge. We're like eating something. Yes. We are here it, to watch. It is specific. It this is, specific. is. This is not a show. For example, iCarly. We watched maybe about two seasons of iCarly in between different shows. We don't count that. That's not on the list. That's not a binge show. We didn't finish it. We didn't watch it all through. That's, that's not counted. Um, the Good Place is a show that we both watched separately. Breaking that's not Bad. A, that's not we a couch started show. that one separately. And then and we then just like, watched the last four yeah. episodes together. That's not, we're not counting that. These are the shows we watched together. And we're going to be ranking them. However, Partly that's mostly on our watch experience together. Yes. Look, this has nothing, I mean, mostly has nothing to do with the show itself. Yes. So if one of your shows is like low, it or could just be that we, we just didn't, didn't enjoy have it. as much of a good experience yeah. watching it together. It doesn't mean it's a bad show, mm -hmm. it just means that we didn't have as much fun. There's a show in here that is my literal favorite show, and it may not be that high. That'll get us to um, our ranking system here. So, so, this is Anya's first time ever using this, ever seeing this. Yeah. But I don't watch YouTube. Either. Those who know me know that I am constantly on YouTube and I see things all the time. And I know that this is what people use to rank things. So, we're going to use it. If you are like Anya and you've never seen this before in your life, this is how it works. These are our rankings. The top one is the best one, the bottom one 
is the low one. We're gonna explain what these specific things are. And it goes pretty much left to right, the left being the best, the right being the worst on that tier. Starting, we'll start from the bottom yes. and go up. Starting from the bottom, we have Don't, don't start, start something you can't finish. finish. That is a quote from Andre on Victorious. Victorious. Yay! Now don't start something you can't finish. And that is because there are a few shows on here we did not finish. Yes. Would it, that means something. Yes, if we didn't finish it, that's how you know. Yeah. We really did not like it. There's a show we're currently finishing that shouldn't be finished. That we kind of don't want to finish, but like... We got so far that we're just gonna go with it. It's but a show that we restarted. That's how, that's why we're finishing it. Mm. Anyway, next. Empty chair, do a solo. <laughs> now, if you don't know where that's from. I'm sorry. Dance Moms. Just admit, Abby just gave your kid a solo. That there's no one else here. We shouldn't get the empty chair. Empty chair, do a solo. That quote gives. <laughs> the empty chair did not give. And neither did these shows. Yes. It's just, you know. There you go. The empty chair got it by default. You're not. Ooh, bottom tier, you know? but like you didn't do anything. You, didn't. you got this by default. Okay. <laughs> Next uh, is. Hmm. So this one is kind of. This is obscure. This is a niece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is a quote from Corey Matthews on Boy Meets World. The episode is the one with Missy Robinson in Missy season Robinson. three. Missy Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? She sure was. Topanga is asking Corey about, or talking about, they're talking about the party. And he's like, go with a party without you? Hmm? We're gonna show the clip, it's yeah. much better yeah. than us. Yeah. So you going? Oh, please. Without you? Huh? <laughs> yeah, so that's what that's for. And that's basically like middle tier, like, hmm? Hmm? Like, okay. Mm -hmm. It was, okay. Go to the party I'm, without I'm, you. I'm looking mm -hmm. for more. Okay. Without you? Um, next we have, you know you love me. So until next time, you know you love me. Gossip Girl. Because XOXO. like, you know you love me. You know me you love, love me. You know. Like, these ones are like, yes, we love you. You may not have been amazing, but we love you. We love you. You know? Mm -hmm. And then the highest of the highs. The highest, the highest, highest of the highs. highs is, is Hannah, in case you couldn't guess. Why did we choose that quote? Here are the reasons. Number one. It is said by the best character on the show, argue with the wall. I know y'all love Spencer. That's <laughs> fine. Like, That's fine. Love Spencer. love Spencer. She's lovable. Hannah's the best character on the show, argue with the wall. That girl literally never pissed me off. She never did not a single thing wrong. Okay. And, and you guys are going to come with a list. I don't want to hear it. I don't want your list. Get it out of my face. Out because of my face. she did nothing wrong okay. and she was baby and I loved her. And I loved her. And I still do. I still do. <laughs> that quote is from one of the best parts of the show. She said these hands are E for everybody, yes. but I'm gonna get your glasses for you. Yes. She slapped Jenna because she was like, I'm not ableist. Okay. <laughs> okay, if I wanna smack a bitch, I'm gonna smack a bitch. And this is Hannah. In case, in case you, you couldn't, couldn't guess. guess. This is Hannah. In case you couldn't guess. Oh, oh, And then Caleb came back with it like a season later and said, this is Caleb, in case you didn't know. By the way, this is Caleb speaking, in case you were confused. It's weird that it happened twice, right? And Arya said, period. And that's on period. Now, I caught it. Arya is your favorite. I'm sorry, I have words. But anyway, that's the, the ranking. So we're going to start, we're going to start in order of how the shows are on here. Yeah. And yes, you will see there some is, of the shows are on here multiple times. We will explain those. Yes. There is no rhyme or reason to how we decide we're going to watch shows. Sometimes it's me putting on a show for myself and then Anya plops down on the chair and sits next to me and is like, turn it up. Or I was playing Sims and Ishar was watching it and I got invested. Yeah. Things, Things happen. happen. <laughs> So starting off strong. Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars. This is a recent one. And I want you, some of these aren't gonna have like long explanations. Some of them is just gonna be like, they're there and you guys have to deal with them. Yep. In terms of our watch experience, I had seen it before. Pretty Little Liars was my favorite show when I was a teenager and I knew all of the stories, but none of the details. And I had a great time. I had never seen it before. Pretty Little Liars is not the kind of show that I watch. <laughs> 
in general, mm-hmm. just now or as a teenager. Um, so they're like, why were you watching it? Because we did a thing where we watched the show that both of us watched. Yes. Then we watched the show that she watched when she was a teen, and we watched the show that I watched. But in watching the show, I realized why I didn't watch those kind of shows. It stressed me out. There was a time period where we were recording where I was constantly picking at my fingers. That was from Pretty Little Liars. I am almost certain. I can't do like suspense suspense and mystery like that. It, Sometimes it was scary. It's too much. I have to like, like I need to know. This is why I read the endings of books sometimes. But it did give me Hannah and Caleb. And I think that bumps it up. For to, me, that was a top tier, like it was, orange, it was, maybe red show. It but was fun. I think it, I think it should go into This Is Hannah. I mean, it is, it is. It is Hannah. It is Hannah. In case you couldn't guess. In case you couldn't guess. Now we have... How I Met Your Mother. We did watch the entire thing. We did. The whole thing. The whole entire thing. Whole even, shebang. Even that last Wait, season. Did we watch the last episode or did we stop? No, we watched it. No, I think we stopped. I think we st- we watched most of it and then it, it, it yeah. we just cut yeah. it off. Yeah, we stopped the last episode where... We stopped like in the middle. <laughs> yeah. That show was so amazing. It's just that last season that brings it down. It, and it's a long, and there are some good moments and good episodes in the last season, but overall, you start to get fatigued from the show and then it not being as good as it once was. Yeah. You're just kind of like, eh. Yeah. So. Mm, mm-hmm. I'm going to say. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling hmm with that yeah. one. I rewatched the show a lot by myself. I'm rewatching it right now. It's a great and show. And I also, usually stop like around season like six ish. Yeah, when you watch it and you realize like how much it did it's for intricate. like social media and yes. like the world we live in now. And it's also a very like sm- like it was like the, intelligently written show. It was the fact that because Ishar was rewatching it and it was like they had to explain what a cougar was. Yeah. And I was like. That's so interesting. Because we all know now. Also, like, the whole cast is amazing. Mm-hmm. All right. We're about to piss y'all off. Victorious. Did we? We finished it. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and empty chair that one. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't giving. Yeah. And um, that's our personal taste. The song's great. The song's great. Some of the characters are great. But the humor... Not... Not there. Amazing. And on top of that, it... It's, it's squicky, especially those ending things, those tag endings. I don't, I wrote a list of the worst ones and I'm not going to find it, but there were some bad ones. Yeah. Is it my turn to squat? You do it way more gentle than my mom does it. There were some bad ones. Like, how did y'all get away with this on children's television victorious is a lot of people's favorites um you guys should know just straight up we are iCarly people here it's also that maybe i you know there's no nostalgia for me also if you're gonna have a show about singers you should maybe have the best singers be the main characters not that victoria justice can't sing because she can but she's not the best singer on the show what I think I noticed is that none of the characters wanted to be singers. Yeah. Just Tori and that's the thing. And Trina. And it was just that they were good singers, but they were there for other things. Yeah, you know, but you're having them Jade out-sing was her. there for like um you know film, film and like Acting. writing and like yeah. that kind of thing. And then Andre was more into songwriting than actually performing. Yeah. And I feel like if they had done like portrayed that more like she's not, she's being outsung but they're also not trying to compete with her yeah i think true. they should have like done that, that a little more, yeah. more made that more clear like even have jade be like i could go in and i could steal your whole career if i want to that's very jade she should have so i don't know why they didn't do that um so next up the, the nanny. nanny that mm-hmm. that doesn't live well in my memory so it's gonna go an empty chair to a solo. It's gonna go an empty um, chair, but it's gonna go above victorious. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Um, and once again, love the show. Love the show. Love the it's characters. Amazing. 
it just in the grand scheme of things we didn't have that much fun watching it honestly yeah, it was kind of like it made us laugh and it was funny and like all that stuff but it was also like really annoying yeah. a lot the whole Fran Mr. Sheffield thing went on far too long and that's my least favorite thing about sitcoms yeah when they do the and they did thing it, and it just lasts. went on so long and then they like lampshaded how long it went on yeah. it's like this isn't funny just get together already now it's annoying next up sweet, sweet life, life of, of zach, zach and cody. cody specifically first of all i would think that's a you know you love me oh yes that is a you know i you know love i love me. them because come on yeah. i don't think we have to say anything else no it's hilarious it's so funny. Next up, Glee. Glee is solidly. Hmm. Yeah. And like, this isn't like, this is a well known idea. There's nothing new that's about to come out of my mouth right now. But the first three seasons are great. Great. The last three seasons are trash. And it was a struggle to get through. I don't know how we finished Bro, that. It was pulling teeth. I don't know how we finished that. It was pulling teeth. I also really, and I'm serious. I do not know. This was my second re. That was my second rewatch of Glee because I re I tried to do it on my own and I stopped and then I just skipped to the last episode because mm -hmm. I was like, I can't. I can't do this anymore. I I had watched it while I was live and then I stopped watching uh, in season four. So it was my first time watching the whole show and I didn't enjoy it. And then like it, and I think also I got glee fatigue. We were it was just tired too of much it. Glee. Yeah, but yeah. it definitely lost a lot of the spark that yeah. made it great. But it's not empty chair to a solo because of those first three seasons, mm -hmm. and because the songs were great. And even in the later seasons, there were still things that were enjoyable. Enjoyable, like very whole, similar to How I Met Your Mother. Mercedes and Sam, love. They Soulmates. kept they kept us going, and yeah. then they broke them and up, and we were up. like, come on, like, what are you doing? It's also because like Rachel, she's just she's annoying. She's just annoying. And like in the early seasons, she was like an annoying in a way that was tolerable because she was like written in a way where it's like, yeah, you're not supposed to like her. And then this one, she's written in a way that you're not supposed to like her, but it's like you're not. The the story isn't acknowledging it in the same way. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to see. She her was face literally anymore. getting everything in life, and it was also the fact that like everybody was make trying to make sure that she was happy. Like even Santana. I was like, why did you tone down her she character so much? She slapped Santana, and Santana didn't slap her back. That's not how we do it in Lima Heights. Yeah. So that's where we're going to leave that, because okay. we can keep going. R.I.P. to um, the people of that show. Yeah. And to who we thought they were. Next is Big Time Rush. Oh, that's either You Know You Love Me or, or Hannah. That is Hannah. That's a solid that show right there. Hannah. Y'all had before me... before Pretty Little Liars? Not for me, but... What's your take? I'm okay with either. You you hear my stance. I would not put it before Pretty Little Liars, but I'm okay we'll with keep it. Going it we'll keep it after. We'll keep it after Pretty Little Liars. If you have not rewatched Big Time Rush, or if you have not watched Big Time Rush, please watch it. It's it is hilarious. actually hilarious. It is so funny. It is so it, like we didn't go into it expecting it to actually be good. I want you guys to know this. Some of these we didn't watch thinking that they were going to be like we're just like oh yeah we're these gonna... wonderful shows. We yeah. watched Big Time Rush as kids, and it's like, I don't expect the things I watched when I was a kid to still be funny. Yeah. And speaking of, Sunny with a Chance is so freaking funny. Y'all, please. First of all, please. I think this one has to go before Big Time Rush. Yes. I was in tears in watching this show. Actual and like, tears. The thing is, the thing is, right, the first, like, I don't even want to say whole season, maybe like half season, it's funny in the way of like, like Disney Sweet Channel Life, funny. you know, it's just like, oh, this is funny. By the time we get to season two, season two alone is one of the funniest shows I've ever watched in my life. Yes. Especially Tawny. Yes. And, you know, it's a shame that they didn't finish it. Obviously, there were all the good reasons and everything for why it didn't get finished. But I was literally in stitches. Yeah. And there is a specific scene with Tawny that we talk about all the time. And I'm going to insert it right here. Sunny, how's your boyfriend? Mine's great. <laughs> oh, uh, don't worry, Tawny. You'll find someone. Because how long her pause was. It was just... It we were so sobbing. Funny. We were 
crying because we were like, did she forget her line? It was, did she do this on purpose? Like, it was so funny. But, and also you have Sunny and Chad. Which is like one like of my favorite Disney. Demi Lovato. Couple, yes. Like, come on now. That was a top, top tier. tier. Top, top, top tier downstairs watch show. Um, next we have A Different World. That was a good one. That would be a You Know You Love Me. Yeah. It wasn't, because there were times where I was like, I kind of want this. I put it about Sweet Life. Like, I kind of want this to kind of like, you know, speed up. It was really the Dwayne and um, Whitley thing. Yeah. I don't like, like when they stretch it too far. I This one was less irritating than whichever show I saw. The Nanny, because the way that I saw it is that I... I felt like they were trying to do uh, Dwayne and Denise uh, in the first season and then they started to shift after the whole shift of the show happened in the second season. So I'm like, all right, so now we have to shift Readjust, from yeah. that. And I think they started to do them around season three and I'm like, all right, that's not too bad. Yeah. When you look at it, if you start in season two, it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, but it does, you know, it, it's, it's a long time. But unlike some other shows, they get together and they're just solid solid for the Amazing. most part for Love the most them. part for the most part next we have degrassi see this is one i should have put in twice honestly it should have been put in twice because we did take a break we i forgot we took a break with that we took a break Spo okay spoilers for any of these tv shows um yeah we're saying this middle of the video but yeah spoilers um we'll do time stamps you can just skip to the next show and just see where it ends up JT dies, and I died too. I had to take a break. I, I didn't have a choice. So I watched Degrassi, so I knew most everything that was gonna happen. I knew a lot of the big stuff that happened. There were like, you know, there's so much that happens in Degrassi, you can't remember it all. Yeah. So like- That's how I was with Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, I didn't remember everything, but I remember JT, and throughout the entire watch, literally the first episode when he shows up, and Ishara is like, I love this little boy. And I was so just like, cute. Yeah. There's nothing that could have prepared me for that at all. There was I'm no lead up. Start crying again. There was no lead up. And I love him it in Liberty. Happened. And he was going to go get her. And they had their baby. <sighs> I'm like so upset, bro. She's going to start crying like, again. I'm so upset. I had to take a break. I don't know what we watched in between Supernatural. I had to take a break. I was, yeah. I was broken so, hearted. Also because the grassy has so many different seasons, seasons. And because it's like two they different had, shows after they had a while. 14 seasons and he died at the end of season seven. And I remember yeah. like in the middle, you were like, oh, should we take a break? I was like, nah, we can just power through it. And then that happened. I was like, we're taking a break because I, the thing is anything after that, that wasn't about either Liberty or JT. I was like, I don't care. Yeah. And I knew I was going to feel like that the rest of it. I was like, I need a break. I'm just, we're going to have to go into the new season and I'm just going to have to like reflect and yeah. So I think that I'll put this in a hmm tier. Yeah. Cause I put it above How I Met Your Mother. Above? Yeah, I think so. There. Yeah, because it, it was, it was great. It was a great watch, but there was, there were some times we were just like, towards the on. end. Come for on. sure or not even just the end it's like certain seasons gave more than others did next up this is my favorite show boy meets world i had to force her to watch it but then she had an amazing time i did have an amazing time was it this is hannah in case you couldn't guess you're gonna have Good to rank time. this one because i am biased you know what, Eric? No, I cried laughing. I cried laughing. This is laughing. actually the only one. I put it above Big Time Rush. I cried. This is the only one that she like sobbed no, laughing. You guys don't understand. I sobbed. I think I might have video. You might. If I do, I'll put it in here. But if I, if I don't, just know she was actually sobbing. It was Eric. It was, it was the scene here. And I want 40 minutes of tranquility, starting now. Yuxi! I quit. I made Ishara, re we replayed that so many times. I was sobbing. And then also we got the, the an ending one, and then the beginning 
of the show one with um movie dinner movie dinner yes. we quote that all the time yes. that whole thing hey minute ding minute ding minute ding movie dinner movie dinner <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Feeney? And how can I help you in the garden today? <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Eric. I hadn't planned on moving it at all. Well, let me just effortlessly toss it over here, then. Who the... <laughs> Eric is the funniest character on the show. I think I was crying with that one, because... Oh, when Corey lost his glove. <laughs> Wish me luck, I'm going back out in the blizzard with one mitten. I lost my other mitten now. Isn't that something? It was blue, fuzzy. The thing with Wendy's World is that when you rewatch your favorite shows, you kind of just like skip around because you've seen yeah. it before. So rewatching it with her, there were episodes there that I hadn't seen in years, and I was like, crying watching yeah, them again no and then also sean my favorite character yeah and him and angela like if you give me a good couple it's gonna bump a show up absolutely i can tell look you at, that look at that hannah and caleb sunny and chad angela and sean and then big time rush on them they were all in a relationship <laughs> yeah i didn't really say i didn't really care no, about I the couples, care honestly couples. none of them um but yes so boy meets world goes in top tier yes Sabrina. So now our, our first, first one. The only one that we didn't watch on this couch on that TV. Don't start son, you can't finish. We didn't finish we it. We did not finish it. Um It's a weird show. Like we there's a few things in there that made us guffaw. But whatever those later seasons were, awful. it's like they just, just lost the, the plot. show. They lost the plot. And they got rid of Harvey. They got rid that's the thing. That's where we, we found lost out us. we found out Harvey came back in like the finale and guess what we skipped to? Bro, the finale. We were not watching that season. We were watching it and then we were like Where's, where's Harvey? Harvey? And also then, her aunts are gone. We tried to get through a few of those episodes and we were like no. It just wasn't given. And we literally just looked at each other and we're like Just skip. Do you wanna skip? If you didn't realize, we were only watching that show for Harvey. Harvey and Sabrina. He was the most amazing little himbo I to love, ever himbo. I literally love him. Um, so yes, that's we did not finish Sabrina. So I'm so sorry. Yes. To all of you. Now, you may think, hold on, you may think because there is a tear dedicated on here, dedicated to, to this, that that's where it's going. There is no way in no. hell. This. Move, pretty little liars. It's not letting you. Move. <laughs> Top. That was the tier. most fun watch experience for us. Nothing Bro. has beat it Bro. yet. And I think there are a few reasons for that. Oh, first, we have a Gossip Girl video on here. You, that's Please where go we're going to talk about everything. Yes. But here are the reasons why it was so great. We were obsessed with it when we were 14. Yes. We stopped watching in season three. So, like many of the TV shows we stopped watching in the middle, we assumed that it got bad yeah it didn't even it though got i did rewatch it i rewatched it the whole thing no i think i said i stopped it like season like four or five right. and then i went to the last episode so again. then like, i did what i did with glee so you just assume that it's gonna be bad because yeah. it's like why can't we finish this show this show was amazing amazing best teen show of all time it was of all time from beginning to, to end of the the end of season <laughs> five. <laughs> okay, no, look, we fully, we fully just retcon that last season. That last season it doesn't does exist. Not happen it's at like, all. That, they they tacked that on to the end. It's it didn't ten or there. eleven episodes, and it we watched it because we were like, we got this far. It's because in that season, they literally retcon everything that they did blair is wearing a headband if, what she doesn't wear headbands anymore they like took everything and they were like and i understand this this logic as a show creator you're like you know I we're gonna go vision. back to the the beginning yeah. these are what these characters were but it's like no we they went grew through all of this for a reason why and also why is why is blair with chuck why is blair with chuck why is dan with serena that really because Watch watch our video. We can talk about this forever. Yes, we that can. was that was a lot of fun but though. And anyway, again, you give us a good couple to root for. You will hear us say many times that Gossip Girl is literally the best show to ever be created. That was the most fun experience on this couch. So also because unlike some of the other shows, 
we were experiencing it for the first time together. Like the things that we remembered, we both remembered. Yeah. And then the things that we didn't know that happened, it was our yeah. first time watching it. Yeah. So we got the greatness of it. And it's also Plus nostalgia. Like watching it grown up because you're like, you see things in a different light. Yes. Like, you know, things with the parents and things with like, yeah. All of it. Why did they bring time. Bart back to we can. Yeah. Best show to ever exist. I don't, I don't think, think anything's anything gonna, gonna bump, bump that. This. No. Next we have Sister Sister. Sister Sister! So when we first looked up this show, it didn't show up anywhere. Anywhere. We thought we were fever dreaming. Bro. That it never happened. And then um, sometime in like 2020 or 2021, they were like, we're gonna put it on Netflix. And it's been there ever since. And it's been great. Yeah. But like, they really tried to gaslight us. Yeah. The internet tried to gaslight us. It just wouldn't show up. We were like, did we make up this show Insanity. together in our heads? Right. I think it's a You Know You Love Me. Yeah, I put, where do we put it? I think above a different above world. A different yeah. world. We had more fun with Sister Sister than we did. different world. Especially because like Sister Sister was one of those few shows that got better with each season and shouldn't have ended where yeah, it did. Yeah, it got better. Like that is impressive. And it's because they shifted the show to be more grown up. Yes, they shifted it as they grew up. Yeah. The show grew up. And if was, anything, like the last two seasons are almost like a completely different show. And it's yeah. great. And it, it, they're my favorite seasons. So that was a lot also, of fun. Also, there's a season, there's an episode with Kirk Franklin. And Bro, you know, that was so funny. Because we were sitting here and we were like. First of all. He showed up in the beginning. We didn't know who this man was. No, he could have been anybody. Anybody. And, then I, and we singing. didn't bother looking him up either, which oh, we, we sometimes like, do. Whatever. Then he started singing. I was like, he said, they said, said like, do you want a revolution? <laughs> we said, whoo, whoo. What is happening? We did not know. I never. And then we looked up. We were like, oh, that's him. That's how we knew. We did not know what Kirk Franken looked like. Just heard. Sister, Sister. Also, that was a show that had so many guest stars. So, like, they, especially in that last season, like, they, all the black people were like, oh, the show's ending? Let me just hop in here real quick. Great. Right. So next. Oh my God. This is an interesting House one. House of Anubis. So is the show great? Well, we watched it two separate times. I feel like that we should did. be acknowledged. We did. We watched it too, because it was on, um, I don't know if Paramount Plus was a thing yet. Uh, it was on Nick Hits, which was a channel that you could get on as an add-on for Amazon Prime. And that's what we use to watch a lot of things, including Victoria's um, and Avatar, which is on there we're getting to, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, because Netflix had not yet gotten those shows. Netflix, I think, was still having Disney shows on there, and those were slowly moving to Disney+. Plus. So they only had the first two seasons, not season three. So we only watched the first two seasons in 2020. Mm -hmm. And then they got the third season, like, last year or something, and we finally finished it. So we had an interesting, like weird watch of that yeah but as much as the show might not be like amazing amazing to us it's it's top 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 tier somewhere next to pretty little liars i don't know where is, though it is it is mm, 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 i put it before big time rush yeah there we go yeah, that's a good that's good that's, that's good. good so it i'm not even gonna say anything else don't fight us on this please um we have not seen the movie no. I know that's the official, like, last episode of the entire series, but it's not available anywhere. I bought it, so now, like, literally, like, a yeah, week so ago, we so we can it watch it point. now at some point, but we haven't. So if there are spoilers, just don't don't say anything, because we Where's watched it joy? probably when it first aired, but I don't remember it. I don't remember that. What does that say? Next, we have My Wife and Kids. Don't start a song you can't finish. So we did not finish that. No. Um. We didn't finish that. Sorry. It's, it was very funny. It was very funny, but like, it got repetitive. It got re and, and that's the fear with, with sitcoms. Sitcoms specifically. That's like, that's what we've es established or gets, experienced a lot, that they get very... Very repetitive. Like, they, they don't know what else to do. They get an, a, a niche, a niece, <laughs> and then they just roll with it. Yeah. And then sometimes, if you're a good sitcom, like Boy Meets World, you change it up a little bit. Yeah. You shift things or sister, sister. That's a, like, I think it's also because like those things, like they would also get see, like Boy Meets World. They had that whole that was a season. drama. It became a drama. Sometimes some there's and, like, there was like a ten episode stretch where I didn't laugh at all. I only cried. I feel like that is good because like that's the thing about sitcoms is that it's so strictly 
supposed to be funny that they get scared to do like serious things beyond one episode yeah and if know? my wife and kids did something serious they didn't take it seriously no yeah and i'm like you still have to take it seriously because that's like the thing with dramas because dramas will still have comedy in them mm -hmm. which makes them enjoyable to watch mm -hmm. but they're prominently drama comedies need to be like that yeah. but flipped they still need drama in it and like they had their things but like you said they wouldn't take it seriously so it just didn't like it just didn't go it, it didn't, didn't work go. did we put this before or after sabrina I was. That's why I was looking. I think they both felt very it's similar. It's fine where it is. Like they're honestly, like, they're on the same even. page completely. Yeah. Next, another. <laughs> Don't start something you can't finish. Yeah. Because we did not finish it. We didn't see. In my head, we did. No. There's seven thousand spinoffs. I don't even think we finished. Did we finish the? Regular I have no one? idea. I don't remember either. But there's only like the only one storyline in the show that I. That is actively enjoyed Lisa and Zach and they destroy it's not even a storyline it's a it's an episode like, well the thing is is that we could I don't think we finished because we couldn't enjoy it anymore knowing the reason why they got rid of them which the was because of is, racists yeah people were upset that their main lovable Zach yeah. was well, into was a parents. black girl parents were upset that their children were watching this even though the two were dating in real life mm -hmm. which is why they had such great and this is why Boy Meets World is above it. Yeah. Because, like, honestly, I could not... Screw them parents. Yeah, I couldn't continue to enjoy the show knowing that that was... And it's also because they acknowledged it by saying, like, Lisa kind of made up the whole thing in her head. Basically, like, made her into him, and then he was, like, all of a sudden yeah. into, like, some other girl. It was, just, it was It was too much, and I couldn't... It was irritating. Bear to, and then Screech, it was just too much. Screech is an annoying character, and that, like, whole story of Screech and like what they do with like that type of character never taking no for an answer basically harassing and then yes. you're supposed to feel sorry for him when no. the person finally snaps and is like no I don't want you like no stop harassing her she said no it should have ended there so that's why Saved by the Bell is down there if it was just Lisa and Zach it would be top tier honestly, honestly if they had done more even if they had done more and then it ended we were not actually, great. We it would have been higher because that's what happened with Boy Meets World. We only watched the two episodes. We've only rewatched those two. Um, Avatar, so The Last Airbender. You, you have to that. <laughs> what I always remember about Avatar is that she put it on and she was like, we're going to watch this. It's my favorite show. And I was like, okay. And then after we could watch Boy Meets World, we didn't watch it for like three shows. I was so irritated. But I enjoyed Avatar. If you know, I mean, if you look down here, there's not a lot of animated shows on here because I'm not, I, I'm not really big into animation. Um, and I don't have a reason for that. I just tend to be into it more when they aren't animated. That being said, I really like the story for it, and I had a good time watching. And it's a like it's an excellent story. It's a very good story. Like from a writing perspective, it is knit tight. And I think that's why it's such like that's why it's so popular because yeah. everybody's like it's like a, the like, characters, it's a good the story, story, everything is so good about it, and it's like. It's very well thought out. Yes. Which is why it's so good. And why I can enjoy it despite the fact that I'm not always in animation. So I'm going to put it in You Know You Love Me. Mm. Above either Sweet, Sweet Life or A Different World. You can place it. Yeah, I was like, I can't do that because I literally, I, I rewatch that entire show at least once a year. So you can't ask me because it's going to be top tier for me all the time. Spoiler. Next, we have Fresh Prince. This is a fresh one. Yeah. Hmm? I'm putting him. That's what I say. Above, above Glee. Absolutely above Absolutely Glee. Above, above Glee. How I Met Your Mother. The thing that's hard with Degrassi and Fresh Prince is that they're so different. They are it's, so different. It's hard to like, we'll I mean, just... it, it can be there. Okay. For our experience, for yeah. our watch experience, I think we had more fun with, with Degrassi. Degrassi. As much fun as you can have with Degrassi. Fresh Prince was so funny and so emotional. It has like all of my favorite things from a sitcom of being able to balance 
good hilarity with good characters and good emotion and good acting and you know there are scenes from this and and clips and all that that are immortalized for a reason but notice they're all in the early seasons and that is why we can't put it much lower or much higher yeah because it just like many of the other sitcoms it gets repetitive yeah and and i'm not even i am not even blaming the shift in on that didn't help but it didn't help but it's it's also just the show it was the show like it just got repetitive like they don't Really Even know what to do. Towards the end with Aunt Viv, the original Aunt Viv, she wasn't given much. No. One of the great things about her is that she was so funny as well in the beginning. And I, this is just like a thing of like people not being able to write pregnant characters in general. And I'm going to shout that out to both Fresh Prince and A Different World because she was pregnant at the end of season three yeah. and they did not know how to write her. Yeah. Just made her emotional. And I'm like, Okay. She can be emotional and funny, y'all. Right. So next, we're going to. This one is going at the bottom at the of bottom. the barrel. Yep. Family matters. Don't start nothing. You can't finish. There's so many things. First of all, I know you guys have heard of Urkel fatigue. It is real. It is a real epidemic. And you know the craziest thing is when we were watching, we were like, I, "He's so funny! Like it's so funny! I don't know." Like, season four. It was so funny. It's real. We Bro. couldn't watch a single other episode. We there's a whole season that we just did not watch. And it just didn't one that, season. Part and and part of it, at least for me especially, was that so they they revamped the show. Um, by revamped, I mean like what's the word I'm looking for? They just they cleaned it up. They made it better. They made the quality better. Yes. And um, they couldn't seem to do that with anything the effects anything that had an effect in it so it and anything at all even it'd be like a transition it would go from like the crispest quality to pixels pixels could barely see anything it was literally it like was bad boxy. and in the last season that's when stefan or Kyle came i had a lot of thoughts on stefan but you know it's a whole other thing and he was like his own character and I was already sick of the show. And I was like, they're gonna have to have them together on scene. Every other scene is gonna be yeah. pixelated. So on top of me not enjoying myself, I'm gonna have to watch it in bad quality. It was I, I also, wasn't doing that. Like Family Matters is the same thing as like Screech. Yeah. You know? It's like Steve keeps going after her and you're like, okay, which is why and I think they wasn't... brought Myra in. Yes. And it wasn't like super bad in the no. beginning, but it got worse because then it became like his shtick. Yeah. That he loves Lara so much and will do anything. And like, yeah. then she's saying no. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, we feel bad for that's him. The thing. So in the beginning, if you've never seen Family Matters, in like the first season, he's not in it. Because it's really, not his no. show. Yeah, he was in it's, like a couple of episodes. It was supposed to be the show and he was just supposed to be this like one-off character. But people loved him. Fun fact. They aired, they filmed more episodes with him and aired it out of order to try to like get him in it more. Yeah. So it wasn't just like he was in one episode just, and then randomly, none, and then in all of yeah. them. So. so he wasn't in it. And then, and even when he wasn't in it, we were like, yeah, it's not as funny. Then he was in it and it was funny. It was good. And then he was the only one in it. And then they also just kind of like, like lost the plot. There were no, there wasn't like a, there wasn't a storyline. There wasn't anything. It was literally just him. All of the um, characters got screwed over, basically. Yeah. Like, as, as much as I loved left. Urkel, yes, as much as I loved Urkel, he wasn't the only thing I was watching for. I was no. watching with the family. Yeah, it's called Family Matters, and they said the family doesn't matter. That's insanity. Yeah, but. There was just a lot going on with that show, and we definitely got Urkel fatigue, and mm-hmm. I don't think we are ever going to finish it. No, I don't, I don't really so. want to. No. To be honest. Yeah. So, we are currently watching this we one. We are currently in the middle of in watching it. In the middle it. of watching it. So, don't. Like Deadass in the middle. Like, we're in. We just finished season three. There's six seasons. Don't tell us anything. This is Baby Daddy, by the way. Yes. In case Do you didn't guess. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> In case you couldn't guess. D- um, does it go up there? I don't... I don't... Um, so, yeah. We are in the mode. Don't tell us anything. 
we we don't want to know we don't want to know what happens i've seen it before so i do actually know i think what happens but um if i'm wrong i especially don't don't want to find out is it you know you love me or uh i say for now we put it in you know you love me okay and yes perfect absolutely that's good okay also this is where we're at while being in the middle yes. so if it goes up or down yeah. we'll find out later this is also a first day thursday so if you want to watch us laugh our asses off that first episode you can th the first episode is what made us watch it yeah because we were in the middle of watching another show that's on this list that hasn't come up yet and we were like <laughs> i think we want to watch baby daddy yeah so. next up dance moms this is the sim show that we talked about earlier so i had i got a new tv um in my room and it's a samsung tv and it has something called samsung tv where it has like something kind of like cable but not really. They just play like reruns of different things. Um, there's a Dance Moms channel. And so sometimes when I go on my TV, it's just on there. And I was giggling. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to rewatch it. I'm going to watch the chaos and get angry and see what happens. And I'll do that by myself while Anya's playing Sims or something. I'm not into reality TV. Um, specifically, Anya wasn't even playing Sims with this one. Anya was sculpting something she was just kind of sculpting and looking up and I remember she said hey turn it up <laughs> from downstairs on the floor and I was like okay and then she joined me on the couch and all of a sudden we were watching it together yeah so this where do we put it also I think it's a hmm tier interesting I was gonna put in you know you love me but I could I could see hmm. I could see hmm. it was funny and it was like good but I feel like the, the fact that it's reality. The fact that it's reality and pisses these people me off because these children had to were deal with actually this. dealing with this stuff, and like Abby actually made me want to hit her in the face. Yeah, like I wanted to run her over. So I'm like, I don't think I could, in good conscience, put it in. You know, you love me. It's valid, even though I do love those girls, most of them. I put it above Glee, at least. Oh yeah, definitely above Glee. Um, I love watching the girls mature. I loved when they started standing, standing up for themselves. Yes. Um, the moms were funny, most of them, even though some of them some irritated of them. me. Ooh. Queen Holly is Queen Holly. But I'm like, this is also why I don't watch reality TV, because I'm like, it just frustrates me. Because um, you're annoying. And Jill especially, her Republican ass, was so irritating, because she is so hilarious. She's so funny. She is so funny. I hate it. Next, we have Legend of Korra. I am mm. also going to let Ishara do this one, because I had seen it before, and like... I'm going to put it in the top of him, above Degrassi. Above Degrassi. Yeah. I, and now... That's specifically for my watch experience, not the show, because I think the show is good, but I started to get Avatar fatigue, <laughs> me specifically. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with any of the shows or anything, but like we had just watched Avatar and then we were watching four seasons or three seasons of Korra. And I remember by the end of it, I was just like, mm, okay, I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm done with this. Probably should have yeah. put more. I think we did put a show in between. Maybe we should have put, put more. more. Yeah. I like Legend of Korra. I know some people don't because yeah, it's definitely it does not deserve the hate. No, it doesn't it deserve gets. the hate, and I think that's kind of what makes me like it more is because people hate it so adamantly, and I'm like, it's not a bad show. It's just not Avatar: The Last Airbender, which is okay. not supposed to be. That's okay. It's not supposed to. Yeah. It's just in the same world, but it's not supposed to be that show. And also, they're gay. <laughs> so yeah. My fucking god, these bitches gay good for them all right next we have the first the first supernatural so you may have heard us talk about this before especially if you've um you're on patreon because i think we talked about it a few times the way that we did nice. supernatural because it's 15 seasons we did seasons one through five then we did a different show i don't know what the show was probably really glee or something then we did seasons six through ten then we did Degrassi part one. <laughs> then we did season 11 through 15, ended it, and then we did the rest Degrassi of Degrassi. So we broke it up in chunks for this too. Because, because those were three completely they different three viewing different experiences. Three different shows. Three completely different viewing so experiences. So if you didn't know, season one through five that's, that's was written by um, 
Eric Kripke. Kripke. Yes. Eric Kripke. And Who he, is, I believe, the same creator of, of The Boys. Yes. He had a vision for those five seasons. And, and that was it. And he enacted it. And he did his damn job. He did amazing. And you, could, are you the, could tell it was it was a show at that point that had a point. Had, yes. You know, it had a plot. Had an ending. Because, like, it had an ending in mind. It had a... Like it had a beginning, middle, and end to it. He had it all in his head. He was ready. Yep. He knew what he wanted to do, and he did it. Yeah. Because all of those seasons fit together well, also fit well on their own. Yeah. And they just were amazing. The just character incredible, arcs. Incredible. Incredible. It was like the this characters. was actually Hannah. Hannah. And above and House a, of Anubis. Above. Above Boy Me. Above. Above. above and yeah. That's yeah, where it yes, place. Yeah. Those that first was five seasons amazing literally we watched it and we were like this is the best show of all time we we ended it and we were like we are going to go into the next season thinking that it's a different show because and that's I was how like, we had to do because it because if you watch the if you the watch last the first episode seasons, of the of the fifth season is an ending that's an ending that's the last it's called episode it's song that's it's the last episode and it of the show. brings in the character arcs all of it it's 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 amazing and I feel like they really should have ended it there, but I'm also grateful that they didn't because, because, I, because we got great yes. episodes later. And fun fact, we watched Gossip Girl and Supernatural back to back. We were watching great television. We were. This was we summer of last year. Time. It was a great time. I don't remember what we watched before Gossip Girl, but we were having a wonderful time. Um. So yeah, that's Supernatural. First One half. through five. Yeah. Or not half, but yeah, first part. Next we have Bad Girls Club season eight. Specifically season eight. Specifically. That's the this part. was a sim show. I'm going to put it in... Let's go in hmm. Does it go? I was going to say hmm or empty chair. See, for the twins. Yeah. I had more fun than Glee. Yeah. Y'all, you have to understand, Glee is yeah. kind of empty chair. <laughs> it should be empty it chair. Should, it's just those first couple of seasons were good enough to bump but, it up but honestly there's not much to say about bad girls club it's bad girls club we put it there specifically season eight because that was the season we watched and the twins are hilarious i'm surprised they didn't get their own spinoff and stuff because they were literally so funny they were irritating but like everybody on the show was irritating that's the whole point they're okay. bad girls club it's not like oh we're we're going into heaven club like they're all not great people and they were also like 20, so. Yeah. So now to a show that we are currently still watching. This now is you may show... be confused because we just said we were currently watching Baby Daddy. Well, if and you these also are remember, all shows that we said we binged. If you also remember, we said that um, we were in the middle of watching a show when we started watching Baby Daddy. This is that show. This is that show. And it is excruciating excruciating it's going in don't start something you can't finish despite the fact that by spite we will finish it i'll put it no no i'll put it here yeah it could go there the first three seasons i don't want to finish it <laughs> the first three seasons were good yes at this point literally we're finishing it just because we need to we like, have 13 episodes we, left of the entire show so, we made it this far we have to just but like yeah, the first three seasons were great and then it's a completely different show now it, it is, is. Not... they lost the plot how are you gonna call it the hundred and only have three, three of, of the, the hundred. hundred and two of the three aren't even part of the hundred or one of the three isn't even technically a part oh, of the hundred oh, raven says four. Oh. no two then aren't technically a part two of, the of them aren't technically a part of the hundred one of them isn't in the season because he's also done with it. And the other, spoilers, I guess, I, I won't really say much, but she's like only somewhat kind of in the season, at least where we're at right now. Yeah. It's not fun. No. The plot of the show is that criminals get sent to Earth and they have- We're not even children. on Earth! Children. Criminal children get sent to Earth and they have to figure it out. That's the plot. They lost the plot. That's not what the show's about they anymore. They lost the plot seasons ago. And they keep killing characters. <sighs> anyway, Jasper Jordan is amazing. An icon. A legend. And I love him. 
and yeah, I'll miss do. him forever. I especially yeah. miss him. They need they some need Devin Jasper. in this season. My God, they could they use really some do. Jasper. Because literally, they got rid of all the fun characters yes. and made everyone annoying. Yes, yes. Everyone's annoying. So that's where the 100 goes. Um, that, okay, so this poster is from season 12, which would put it in the later part, but this is going to represent uh, season 6 through 10. I yes Keith I enjoyed I think season six yes I think I enjoyed season six that's the one with Solar Sam and the French Mistake season eight is the flashback one hated the that was one. awful and then season nine I don't even know what happened in season uh, nine. oh my god I think that's the one where Kevin died spoilers spoilers I think that's the one where Kevin died I season remember. nine is when they started making Dean unbearable. It's, it's also because, like, at that point, we are at season nine. Why has he had no character development? Why is he backtracking, if anything? If there's character movement, it's this way instead of this way. I think this should go in empty chair. Yeah. It almost goes in Don't Start Something You it, Can't It hit. almost, cause we almost because did. we almost didn't finish it. We, right, reason, we cheered that we got to season 10 and we were able to be done. There was a reason why we stopped watching in the first place mm -hmm. and we found it when we, we stopped, continued. When we watched it live and it was airing, I think we stopped so, around season 11. Yeah, like 11. I'm going to put it behind Victorious, honestly. Yeah, it can be behind I Victorious. I had more fun with Victorious mm -hmm. than that. And then the last and then bunch. The last bunch. That's so, gonna go higher. That's higher. So the first few, see this one is like opposite of the other seasons because this one, it started off pulling teeth. Yeah. Cause it started off with the British men of letters and that was boring. Yeah. I hated every part of that. It started getting, and then um, Mary wasn't awful. No, but she wasn't great. But she wasn't great. Also, and they didn't do that much with her, to be honest, before yeah. they decided to kill her off again. And for some reason, when we watched it the first time, we hated Jack. We loved him now. Yeah, but to be fair, I think we hated the idea of the story. Because we didn't get yeah, far into true. watching Jack. Like, that's he, true. I think he was, I watched maybe a single episode with him. That's but, barely a character. But, like, he's, he's baby. Love him. He's my child. Yeah. We were just kind of, like, haters back in the yeah. day. And people hated the last season we loved it yeah i had a great time had i thought really, there were like, things that they could have done better for sure but like i mean this show definitely went through the whole process where like it stayed around long enough to see itself become the villain but then got its hero redemption arc again yeah so like it got worse and then it got better again which yeah. is what a lot of shows technically do and i think the I main never get past the bad part. i think the main thing is like when you're writing a show for the most part especially a show like this you should have some idea of where it's going yeah and that's what's that's what it needed like for a long time there they just didn't they just have didn't any have idea any... where they were going because it was like season by season plot meanwhile like we said in the first five seasons it there was, was like a it was a stretch like a series plot along plot. with season plots yeah and, and i think that's what they needed and when you don't that. also when you don't know where you're going you don't know where your character is going yes so they just kind of stay the same my issue with Dean is that he did not grow much. He started to just become like a flat version of who he was when he was 26. You're 40 now. Grow. Like you're yeah. pissing me off. You're piss you would have pissed me off at the age of 26, but now you're the age of like my dad. And also the fact that everybody just let him continue to let be him that do way. anything. Sam and then fighting. Sam and like and they didn't acknowledge it. if his, if it was just like he was depressed he has plenty of reason to be he he was depressed like they that's said not that a little bit but like he folded completely and they didn't give him no. his fight back they didn't the character he was in the first 5 seasons versus who he was later on completely different and that's and okay like not, yeah but it was just it wasn't in a good way that with dean's character staying the same was not good. No. I did not like that dynamic. Those are our two main characters. You have one that's irritating me and one that never calls him on it. Can we talk about Amy? That's in the other that's in the other stretch. But Amy, if you don't know, is Sam's friend or crush from when he was a child who he found out she was like killing people. She had a very good reason. She promised to stop and Dean promised promised he would not kill her. And he did. And he did. And what's worse about that is that Benny came a season later. A season later. And then the second Sam said anything about Benny, 
Dean was like, it's not the same. We go, Dean was like Shh, that. We go about, about we gotta stop. Certain things we gotta and stop. not other things. We gotta and stop. it was infuriating. Because then Sam just let him, just let him go. Do you know how frustrating that I'm is? I'm so pissed off. Ooh. Anyway. So season 15 was okay. For, I think 14 was also. I think so 14 right. was, 14's ending was insane. Yeah. 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 The beginning of season 15 also was just, also a bit of a struggle. I also like just liked episode. everything about the whole plot line where it's like, like God is just basically toying with them. Yeah. And like they are his little place. And, and that's like, why they get through everything. Because literally watching the whole show, we were like, they are bad hunters. Bro. How are they getting through like, all Like they're this? good hunters. But the thing is that, and I know people didn't <sighs> like it because they felt like it retconned everything, but I was like, no, it makes sense. It does, and I understand, I understand. Because like, I, it can be, I, I, I get it. I get both sides and I feel both sides, honestly. But the thing is that when you have this show is they have to get beat and some of the ways that they write them to get beat are things that are just stupid for hunters that are supposed to be the best hunters in the world. And, and they kind of just feel like them. writing plot lines. So where then it's like, like, how did they get through that? Yeah. And it just, it feels like it makes sense because it's like, oh yeah, they just like wrote it this way because they had to make it out. Yeah. And it's kind of like, yeah, God wrote it this way because they had to make it out. Right. Or even like Dean getting a cavity. He's yeah. Like, I never get cavities. And exactly. It's like, yeah. All you do is drink beer. Yeah. You, you should, should have cavities. You should have a lot of things. Anya once said, just because quietly to herself while we were watching, I know his piece stinks so bad. And I have not got it out of my mind because y'all have tried to make Dean, I was on Tumblr, y'all have tried to make Dean this boozy, prissy princess who cares about like manicures or something like that. No, that's Barney Stinson. That's not Dean. Dean is dirty. He, is this, he does not shower. Okay. He has the crust in his drawers. All love to him. Jensen doesn't, I hope. Probably. He's got dingleberries, y'all. Dean is dirty. He's got It's him. okay to say. It's He's okay dirty. to say. He's dirty. He's still hot, but he nasty. He's dirty. And I know he gave a lot of people UTIs. Okay. I know he did. Luckily, once they got the bunker, Dean was like showering regularly. Yeah. It was because they didn't have a home. So yes. it was kind of hard. Yes. And I get that. But then like, like he was also being that way sometimes later on. Yeah. It's like, dude. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Top of him? Top of him? Yeah. That puts it like about in the middle of the two sections. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. never going to reach the greatness of the first no. five. And it's never going to be as bad as the first or the, the middle. And last but not least. Sweet Life on Deck. I genuinely don't really remember. So Empty Chair Do a Solo. Oh, see, I was going to put in, hmm, but it can be an Empty Chair Do a Solo. I don't remember anything from it. Like, at all. I, I just know we watched it because we watched Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, so. I'm gonna put it behind Supernatural, even though I said we hated those seasons. At least I remember what happened in those. I don't remember watching this show. In fact, the reason it's last is because she had to remind me that we watched yeah, we did the watch show. It. We did watch it. And then we also watched it. the movie. We Which did. Which I think we watched for you guys. No, I don't no? think so. If it's on there, then, you know, hmm. check it out. But I don't think we watched it for them. But yeah, we watched the movie. Yeah, Sweet Life. I don't have anything to say about it, honestly. No. I also don't remember it. I don't remember it at all. They were getting their check. Good, for, good them. for them. Mm -hmm. So this is our list. This is our list. This is our tier list. Yeah. I honestly, feel like this I is this, this is, is accurate. Good. Yeah. Those top shows. Chef's kiss. Chef's Amazing. kiss. And then those bottom shows make me want to ugh, hurl. Yeah. The fact that we're still on one of them. It's so irritating frustrating and then afterwards we're gonna get back to baby daddy Yay. and then we have a whole list of shows that we're gonna watch after so if you like this maybe we'll do it again we'll have more yeah and we would do like different shows yeah we wouldn't we would start from wherever we ended yeah here maybe, maybe we'll toss, do baby daddy because like we're yeah. gonna finish it um we'll toss gossip girl in there just so that y'all know where we stand on that still okay still now, so if, long as I you mean, cut out that, if it, you go with the last be, season, then it's like empty chair do a solo. Like it not might the whole be, show, that last season. It might be there again, just because we might rewatch it again. No, like, like seriously, who knows? Um, on our list of TV shows that we're rewatching, one of them is the Supernatural anime because I am so. You guys heard my whole spiel I'm about so animation. Curious. I am 
so curious. That's another so one. Curious. Especially because they have like Jensen or not Jared. Jared doing voicing. the voice. Yeah. And but Jensen's only doing it sometimes. And it's, it's the first two seasons, which if I'm recalling, was like its own like arc. So I'm just so curious about how yeah. they do things. Yeah. What changes, what stays the same. I'm just and yeah. Just, why? <laughs> why? I'm just so curious. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again for 8K. Um, we hope that you guys continue to enjoy our stuff. Don't worry. Our Marvel things are coming out soon. Yes. So we'll see you next time. Yeah. And if you watch to the end, tell us some of your favorite shows that you watched. Or more specifically, of these shows, which ones you like. Yeah. And like, did you think our ranking was fair? I know it's for our watching experience, but yeah. like... Let us know what you think. And it's, it, like I said, it's a very specific. Yes. Because we're not going off of, like, plot. No. If the show was, like, genuinely but good. you see, if a show is, like, pretty well written, it's going to be liars. higher. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be higher because then we're going to have more fun with it exactly. while we're watching. We're but also it. some of it is, like, Oh, that was fun for us because we made jokes and stuff like, like House that. House of Anubis. House of Anubis. Like, I can tell you that Absolutely. show was not... It. We know it's not a great show. No. But it's an amazing show. But it's show. an amazing show. We'll end with Joy Would Never. Joy Would Absolutely Never. And we're not going to explain that. Hmm? <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.